All right, guys, welcome to the final video of phase five. So in this video, right, we're essentially going to elaborate or give you another perspective on, you know, what the quote unquote true RR is. Um, so in reality, right, heart, I'm sorry, high RR, right, can be extremely misleading. Why? Right. Because you can have like a one to 20. You can only make 7% after taking partials and after commissions, commission fees, and maybe even the reentry that you didn't speak about that, you know, ended up being a loss, right? So it's extremely misleading, right? Because that 1 to 20 should generate 1% for 20%, right? But it just receives 7%. So it's extremely misleading, right? Therefore, the risk to reward per trade isn't, you know, what should be the most important focus. What actually matters is the overall RR over a set amount of time, over a set amount of trades, whichever one you want to do, whether it's two to four weeks or whether it's after 10 trades or whether it's, you know, whatever you want to do with it. Um, so, for example, right, the reason why I'm doing this is, is for example, also, like, let's say um, you made 13 percent the first week of January after, let's say, two trades. Right now, after the two to three weeks, it's the end of the month. And you're either negative or you're say let's let's say you're now five percent up, um, and you end up the month you know with an unfavorable position in comparison to where you were at the first week, right? So what I want you to do is essentially document right your every single trade in terms of your lot sizes, your uh, which ones hit stop loss, which ones hit TP, which ones you partialed out, how much you partialed out. You know, just any type of data that falls in line with that, right? And essentially with the outcomes of your trades every month, right? And after, and I'm saying every month because that's what I'm basing this explanation on. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to do every month. Um, but after each month, right, you need to see what your quote unquote real RR is, right? For example, let's say I took 16 trades in January, right? And I made 80%, okay? Then that means that if i took 16 trades and i made 80 percent then my risk right my overall risk right if if my risk profile is one percent per trade then my risk is 16 percent right and my total return was 80 percent right that means my my true rr for the designated month of january was 16 to 80. obviously once you simplify that number it, it will fall down to one to five right that means that my true rr for the month was one to five right so hopefully i'm not confusing you guys i'm what i'm doing is i'm taking the amount of trades that i have with the percent uh, made or lost right and then essentially simplifying that ratio to you know come up with a true rr okay so one to five is my true rr of the month and i think this gives you a lot more clarity in your journaling right because let's say uh, with this information, you cannot derive whether you're trading too much, right? Whether you're trying to re-enter too many times, whether you know you're you're risking too much per certain scenarios, right? And you're you're acknowledging the risk factor and you're elaborating on it and you're seeing how you can fix it, right? So I can I can see how this can be a bit confusing, but trust me, whenever you start using this, especially over time, you're gonna see a lot more consistency. You're gonna see a lot more essential pickiness in terms of how you trade right and that also develops the longevity the patience factor that we've you know came back to so many times in the course right just because i think it's one of the most important attributes to have as a trader um but yeah i mean with that being said this is the conclusion of phase five uh phase six is psychology so sergio will be taking care of that of those videos so I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, the first five uh, phases. Please let me know if any video seems confusing, if anything is, you know, out of place, if something is just, just feels weird, um, that it isn't in the right place, right? Please give me feedback on this because you obviously know that I've been working on this since before November even, um, and we're now in March. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and Sergio will take care of phase six.